Hello, my little Vikings. Day 1198 of the life of Baldur the Sheep. Welcome back to another Mountain Blade episode. Let's go. We are besieging N Naltal. And uh, we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it really good. Oh, they're offering peace again. I think not, you little pus -puses. Let's charge them. <laughs> okay, we... Okay. Uh, well, I should have brought more arrows, I guess. That kind of stinks. I really thought the enemy would... Uh, would sally out. So I thought I needed a nice little shield and uh, sword to, to protect myself, but... Uh, Turns out I didn't need to. Start picking these guys off. This is a this is a weird one. Wow, they're spread out really far to the for, to the right, especially. And there's even some like nice sniping towers up there. Interesting. This could be a pretty decent place to defend, I think. Especially if you have multiple types of archers. The enemy has arrived. Uh, we'll work on them a bit more, maybe, before we start pushing up. Maybe so we can get rid of some of the best units they have. That could be kind of nice. We're looking really good. Almost 100 already. My archers are so important pushing up walls like these. Oh, hello, man. I see you there. Trying to sneak a, sneak a sneaky one on my dudes, eh? I think not. New enemies have just arrived again. I think we're gonna charge. Uh, bodyguards. We're gonna let the infantry pile up first. I don't want to go down. You guys follow me. Cavalry as well follow me. Oh, hey, man. I, I see you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You better buy a better bow, man. <laughs> are you guys following? I think they are. Let's push up, see what we got. Okay, still some dudes up there. Pick them off so my men don't get shot in the back. Oh, actually, they're getting shot from over here. Okay. Uh, come over here. There's a lot of archers over here. Holy heck. It's like all the archers are coming up the walls over here. Oh, wow. Oh, there was one there as well. Okay. They're spread out all over the place here. This is pretty good. Water guards can uh, protect me a little bit. Well, as I kind of do my thing here and pick up archers and whatnot. How are there... Okay, reinforce... Oh, okay, they're getting reinforcements from both directions. Okay, I see. Well, that's fine. Archers, come up here. Actually, have them charge as well. I gotta keep on pinging these archers. I only have five arrows left, though, which is unfortunate. Not gonna get that many more hits. Well, these guys are pushing down, so that's good. I could maybe technically jump down here and try to... You know, I think I might help here instead. I think th those are the elite, elite elites. My bodyguards are dang good. Uh, and their body armor is slightly better even than a lot of these guys. Go down here and, and do my thing. Wow, this is very, very thin stairs. Oh, well, these ones uh, are falling like quite, quite easy. Some of the other dudes, though, are a little bit better at fighting. But man, I was kind of expecting my men to push down by now, but uh, I guess I gotta have to do the heavy lifting. As a king, that's what you always do. I think we're about to win. <laughs> I think I think it, this is about it. Yep, <laughs> 400 plus dead already. Wow, that was a that was a successful charge. Only nine dead. That's a record amount of time. I'm proud of this. I'm really proud of this. Oh wow. Oh. Huh. I've never seen this though. That's interesting. Not really a very good vision out though, but I guess in reality the, a place like this would work pretty good. Maybe you would want a gate though, because I feel like, you know, the walls are very thin here due to how they're shaped. So the enemy might be able to like crack it open, especially since it's so close to the ground and jump in. I don't know. That's pretty dang good though. Let's see how did the companions do. Antonia 16, Julia 10, 
Uh, Sir Alistair 7, the rest did pretty poorly though, but he's with 5 only, but he's usually kicks ass. <laughs> oh yeah, don't matter. Uh, we did good, we, we took it, we conquered, looked good and whatnot. Um, I don't think I'm interested in anything of that. Um, should we give this to Donovan maybe? Oh wow, I have three villages. I should really get rid of some of the villages. I mean, I could give it to myself too. Let's defer appointment for now, actually. Oh, there's a tournament going on as well. Hmm, interesting. Well, I think I'm gonna stock up on some food and uh, then I think we continue. As long as we have a decent amount of men, I think we just truck on here, honestly. This campaign is going quite, quite fantastically well, I must say. Man, it's, uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty purple. <laughs> It's starting to become off the map soon almost. Isakoma is next on the list. We still have 385 men. Almost all of them are in fighting condition. Good stuff. Steward of Knuda Castle needs her help. I do not care at the moment. Uh, Torba has been siege. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see what we got going here. That is not a lot of Dutch our lords. I think we'll uh, take care of that issue right now. Where you guys heading? Where are you going, dudes? You know I'm gonna catch you sooner or later. You only die tired. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Khalip Hamid. 350. There's he doesn't stand a chance. This should be a write-off, pretty much. Bodyguards and the medics in the back, archers, then cavalry, and then infantry. Enemy is already charging. Where are they coming from? This direction, okay. Uh, we're not exactly in a good position though. Archers fall back a little bit and then go forward. Just so the cavalry behind you can go where they need to. Well, I don't think we have to worry too much. Kind of coming up from the side a little bit, but uh, that should be okay. Yeah, it's most definitely okay. <laughs> We're picking them off one by one. Oh, charge lands. Oh, these ones are coming in from the front. Okay, that's like kind of a cool, diversive maneuver. I'm a little bit impressed, actually. It's kind of cool. Didn't think they would uh, do that. Hmm. There's the cavalry up on top. Let's go and deal with them. Oh, no, not the cavalry. What am, I what am I saying? The archers. Well, I mean, this is going to be an easy win. So I think we will uh, jump to when we are about to attack Isakoma. Battle is done. We got a couple of captives. I sold them off for about 1,200. Uh, not, or 12,000, so not too bad. What did you see? You Sabastocrat Kasparax of the Melantine Empire have unexpectedly landed in Pandor? Wait, what? Wait, wait, did I have accepted the peace offering maybe? Ooh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I've never seen that message before. Uh, that's very, very interesting. Lost 17,000 feels bad, man, but we, we have plenty of money, so that's okay. Okay, okay, that is that is very interesting. Maybe, well, okay, we'll take Isakoma and Tuldur Fortress as well. Okay, this looks very... Wait, what? Haven't we already attacked this? Wait, 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 wait. Is this exactly the same as that other town? I think it is. We gotta pop over the edge here and check. I mean, not exactly, but quite a lot like it, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so infantry. Gather up here, hold your fire. Then bodyguards. And medics. Actually, Anson, you can stand here so you don't get hit by anything. Okay. We're gonna take a lot of arrows as we pop up here. Throwing spears as well. Jesus, I saw that one coming. Hello, boys! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, we're definitely gonna push in the infantry first. Let's make sure they're holding fire. We'll send them down there. And 
and hopefully I'll be the only one shot at, but it seems like that's gonna be the case for a while. We'll try to dodge some, the, le the less than our men are gonna get hit, so that's good. Okay. Not too awful. Okay, up here. Up here. Actually, right over here. And cavalry right here. Okay, we're not actually taking that many arrows. This is kind of okay. We're picking these dudes off now, since we are joined by some friendlies, so we won't be taking all the arrows. Nice, they're kind of focusing on, on the infantry, like I was hoping. Since we are up on those balls, we have a really good vision on them. So we will, we will fall back with these guys a little bit, because they, they tend to get shot from the side otherwise, where the shields can't cover them. I'll pick off some of their archers as well. Oh, they have a lot of those uh, really masked-looking ninjas with the throwing, throwing uh, daggers, which actually do a lot of damage. They look pretty cool as well, those dudes. What? That should have been a hit. There we go. Okay. Well, that's 100 already. Okay, let's see if we can push in now. See if I can help them. The shield is really in bad shape, though. Let's get the cavalry and bodyguards over here as well. Keep the archers where they are, though. Just tell them to stand a bit closer, because they're they're bunching up over there, not getting any hits, really. There we go. That's better. That's better. Okay. Eight, follow me. Cavalry, follow me. No, Jesus Christ, follow me. I want them to go up these uh, this ladder. And so many are going up that other ladder. Oh, that's weird. These guys aren't even shooting. What are you thinking? Oh, that guy's... That guy also looked like a freaking ninja. <laughs> freaking ninja, man! Okay. I think we have semi-taken the walls. Oops. I think I want to push to the right, though. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. Well, mistakes were made. <laughs> I guess we'll take care of some of the archers. Oh. The other archers are shooting me in the back. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. We don't have any shields. And I swore. I'm so sorry, YouTube. Don't demonetize me. Captain America. Please. Please forgive Anders. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit too many. Am I not hitting? You guys really should get some shields. Come on, bro. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Getting some health, even. Oh, wow. Okay, well, there goes Anders, I guess. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> How are we doing, though? 17 has gone down already, but we've gotten rid of 350 of theirs. I only got 36 of them, so that's, that's pretty okay, I think. We, the casualties should go lower and lower the, the further we get down here, because then they then they can't really shoot up at us as we're fighting others. But they should also kind of stay busy with these guys. Even though it's only like 15 of my men here, they should they should last for a bit. Oh no, okay, never mind. They're getting hit hard by throwing spears and bows. 41. Hmm. The last few. Except the one guy is left on the stairs. They're kind of stuck up there now. Actually, there's a few of them. My man has almost pushed them off, or at least halfway off. There we go. Not too bad. Well, 44 casualties. Not great. But I can live with that. Um, I'm kind of worried about that Maltese, or whatever that was. I think we'll just grab a little bit of loot. And we'll start heading back home, especially since I got a warning about them being close to Valambre. Or at least some kind of army being close to Valambre. Mm. I really should be taking some of these prisoners for money's sake, but ah, they're gonna end up in the castle, I think. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's defer appointment for later. And let's leave. I think we have enough food to get home. Because we only got 339 left now. Nothing has been besieged yet, though, so we should be able to make it home in good time, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, Dashar is offering peace again. I'm gonna take it this time, just because we've taken so much of their lands, and I do not know 
what to expect from from uh, whatever large armies outside Valenbrae at the moment. It might be okay, it might just be one of those invading armies, you know, no big deal. But it might also be something I've never experienced or something new to the mod, you know, like... I don't know, 10,000 men or something like that. You you never know. But it should say, like, a great host, if that's the case. Oh, Malantine Invasion Force. Okay, that wasn't much. Haha, <laughs> that... That more or less looks like a nice Qualys Yem. That's what I would say. <laughs> I got really, really worried there. I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Sebastokrator... Cuspux. Wow, your continued insolence, Pandorian, will not be tolerated. You'll learn to bow to your new Melantine master or perish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, these pompous little twats, man. I mean, I, they dress in real nice clothes, you know, purple. I like it, you know. I, I could get behind that. It's just, it's not gonna be very purple when we're done with them, though. That's the problem, but they, they don't they don't realize, you know, what kind of a problem they got themselves into. They they think they're uh, hot uh, hot shit, so to say. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna teach them uh, how things really are. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna actually go and grab my good sword. I want to really go and get personal with these people. Think they can land at my lands? Think they can assault me? The God King, the God Viking Lord King. <laughs> I don't know. I need to make up more, more uh, titles for myself, I guess. So let's see these guys slam into my elite cavalry, infantry, and uh, archers. Oh, Melantin Grin Banner. Oh, what happened, bro? What happened? See, seemed like, seemed like you went down pretty quick. Oh, oh, one more, two more, three more. So you got more? Oh, yeah! Here we go, boys! Oh! Oh, such a shame! Oh, that actually hurt. Poor horsey. We gotta watch out. <laughs> At least this is not like some of the other mods where if your horse gets damaged, it gets slower. That's really annoying. So, we have four, four dead and six wounded so far. They have a hundred. Oh. Oh, did, did, he, did he speak a little bit too soon? Did he, did he think he was hot shit? I think he w thought he was hot shit. He cannot come to Viking lands and insult its ruler <laughs> without getting his prostate examined by my sword. Or axe, or spear, or, or arrows, or bolts. Cut one down, cut two down, let's cut more down, cha la 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 la. Melon, I need oops. Uh, we'll ping some of these guys actually. Not just, uh, they were kind of sad lackage of the uh, shields. Made them easy, easy targets. Shoot into the big group of them. Well, I'm missing now. I haven't gotten a kill in a couple of shots. Then again, I haven't played Mountain Blade for over a week, so I'll blame that. My horse won't get hit again, though. There's a lot of arrows flying past me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there she blows. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow, those are some pretty beastly spears, though. That's more like an... Oh, God. Okay. Uh, charge. Follow me. Follow me. Save your king. Don't let these fucking buggers get your king. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah, this is this is this is not good. Men, men, could you could you come save your king? Ah, no, no, <laughs> dang it! <laughs> oh, well, that was that was uh, embarrassing. I must say, these Melantine dudes—they kind of remind me of uh, uh, what, what is it? The Byzantine Empire. Byzantine. Looks a lot like the Melantine, I must say. I mean, they, they kind of sound the same as well. The funny thing is that Byzantine Empire actually em employed Swedish and some Norwegian Vikings 
in its king's guard, uh, just because they were so large and strong and fearless and, you know, you know believing in, in the Viking gods, you know, like, die in battle, you know, you go to Valhalla, die an old man, you go to hell. Hell wasn't, you know, as the Christian hell, but it was still not as amazing and cool as Valhalla, you know? So that's, you didn't want to go there, you know, because, like, women and old folks went there. <laughs> Except women that died in battle, though. I think they also went to Valhalla, but I'm not sure. I should study my own history more, really. That's why I should do. I can't believe we don't learn more about it in school. That's kind of weird. But then again, it's not like that's gonna do anything for us in present day, though. And it's over. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I made peace with the charm because of this. <laughs> and we took him prisoner. Awesome. Nice. We can get ourselves a nice little Qualys gem. Is there anything I need Qualys gems for now? I don't think so. But it never hurts to have a couple of quality gems lying around, I bet you. Oh yeah, Imperial Guards. I mean, they really do look, look like... Uh... Wow, words. Melantine. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a few minutes since I said the word. That's short. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Throwing homelands and keep your arms up again. Call this gem, except diamonds. No, only your death will suffice. <laughs> now nah, we're taking the quality of course. I think that's the right thing to do. I think I'm gonna muster some more men and try to get a handle on my kingdom as well. To try to uh, divide all the castles and cities and all that kind of stuff. Like, there's no reason I should own Knudar Castle anymore. It's better if I own, like, Singal and maybe Isakoma or something like that. So I can make some more money and have, have like, well, a place where I can, you know, recruit men. And maybe even move my court to Singal just to have it more towards the middle of the map. I'm not quite sure yet, though. And again, I swear, look at this. Doesn't it look like Valombre has a different color than the rest? Singal also a little bit. But not like Isakoma or Windholm. Maybe I'm going cray cray, but I swear, like it's a different color. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my affairs in order, so to say.